And here we go. The first unboxing video I've ever done, and this is the new Aston Element uh, Developer Edition microphone. It's got some really nifty features. It comes with a free shock mount, um, it comes with a pop shield, and 10-year warranty. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, obviously, I was part of the strange group of uh, people who uh, listened to all the audio files and uh, tried to choose the best sounding options uh, from what they gave us, which apparently was, uh, yeah, which led to this developer kit, the limited edition. Um, and yeah, we're going to have to test it out and see if it is as good sounding as uh, as we're hoping, as we're hoping, and uh, as Aston suggests it might be. Um, apparently in the first round they lost, uh, the, uh, they came last, um, and then each subsequent round against uh, various microphones from various high-end brands, it did better and better until the very final round where it was winning hands down uh, against some very, very expensive microphones. Um, so I'm just going to start uh, trying to open it now, unbox it. Um, I'm having a little bit of a uh, little bit of trouble getting into it here. Um, okay, maybe my nails aren't <laughs> sharp enough uh, for this. Um, so yeah, um, I might might have to yeah, I might have to. Um, hmm, okay. No, it's not working. Right, okay, I'm gonna get a knife. Here we go. Yes. There we go. Now this should make it easier. Well, hopefully. Um, and let's get this bad boy turned over. There we go. Right, oh, no. <laughs> Can't open the bloody thing now. Here we are. And it seems to come with a little bit of paperwork, a certificate. Uh, oh, no, uh, in the inside it says, uh, yes, welcome to the Aston family. Nice little message on the up, up, inside lid of the box. And, uh, yeah, paperwork seems to be a, a certificate uh, confirming uh, my participation in the, uh, in the development and uh, a little thank you letter uh, explaining where you can download some stuff and uh, get your 10-year warranty signed up. Um, again, this is a, a seems to be a little card uh, in replacement of a... It doesn't seem to be a frequency response. Oh, here we go. Some, uh, some These must be the limited edition stickers, um, which I'm sure Bandrew from Podcastage will absolutely uh, hate, but I'll show you them nevertheless. Um... <laughs> seem to be holographic in some way, um, or at least uh, foil-backed, so they're shiny, very, very shiny. And here's some oh, badges, um, Aston Family Developer, uh, Aston Family Badges, a couple of them, and yet more stickers. Um, again, nice and shiny, if you're into that sort of thing, um, obviously. Um, Obviously, these have no effect on what the microphone sounds like, but they're, they're nice uh, if you if you like that sort of thing. So, like shiny, shiny magpie type of things. Um, my word, there are quite a few of them. There you go. Even, even more. I'm not sure what that one is. Um, seems to be the microphone in different settings and things. There you go. Nice and shiny. And here we go. The boxes. Oh, where do we start? Where do we start? Um, let's go. Let's go for this one. Uh, yes. Now this should be the shock mount. The shock mount, um, which is obviously uh, custom to this microphone. Uh, it's a new design, sort of cradle. It's nice that you get this. Um, although mine. Oh. <laughs> doesn't seem to be attached properly. Um, <laughs> I don't really know what you can do about that, but it's just a screw thread, so it should go on. Well, hopefully. Um, yeah. There we go. There we go. Um, and it seems to um, click into the suspension mount, um, which, yeah... Yeah, 
it's not quite it's not quite fitted properly um, so I'm trying to click that in click that into place um, there we go that's a uh, uh, springy so hopefully it should nullify some of the shock uh, it's got a a, a a microphone stand adapter as well a three inch uh, three quarter inch whatever it is um, for a boom arm as well uh, an adapter for a boom arm as well as a standard mic mount uh, okay let's have a look at this one this should be the pop shield again this is a an interesting sort of feature so it's a magnetic pop shield um, so it's a sort of metal pop shield uh, with holes in to sort of uh, basically take away any plosives uh, I've, I've had various various types of pop shields throughout my life uh, the metal ones some of them are pretty good but we'll have to see how this one goes and now the microphone this is the uh, uh, piece de resistance uh, here we go let's see what this bad boy is like Ah, and um, yeah, it's just, I, first night. No, it feels, it looks really small, um, and it's really, it feels really light actually. Um, but let's try and get this open. Uh, okay, um, as I say, this is my first unboxing of. <laughs> seems like I've I've never opened anything. I'm not very, not doing very well getting things out of the wrapper. Here we go. Yeah, it's it's pretty light. It's uh, it's nice and tactile, soft. It's got sort of that weird uh, LED light up thing for when the phantom power's on. It seems to have holes in the sides. Um, not really sure for that for, but it's very light. It's very light. Um, solid metal uh, body so it should be pretty sturdy I think it's a uh, cast aluminium um, and uh, as you can see the uh, the new diaphragm has got a, a metal cover as well so let's uh, put this to one side and have a look and see um, obviously I will try and do a, a proper mic test with it um, and maybe put it up against similarly priced microphones um, and see how it how it how it deals. But yeah, that seems to be how it goes. Those holes seem to be, yeah, okay. So the uh, the holes in the side seem to fit into these little clips on the inside of the shock mount. Um, yeah, so those little holes at the side are are little ports for the uh, for the shock mount to secure into. I think. So try and get that in there. And uh, it seems to uh, it slides in quite easily, but it doesn't feel very positive at the moment. The connection. Um, I'll have a look. <laughs> and it wasn't very positive. It didn't go in at all. Um, so oh yeah, there you go. The hear the click. Um, that's it. That's in. That is, that should be pretty secure now, that shouldn't be going anywhere. Um, and then the microphone pop shield just just clips on, just magnetises on. There you go, on and off, relatively easy, um, which is uh, it's nice. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't, it doesn't seem to be, um, it doesn't seem to be directed metal. Um, Unlike some metal uh, pop pop filters that have a have a direction in the metal which seems to uh, seems to force the wind and plosives away from the diaphragm, but um, it, we'll have to have to give it a go and see how it see how it handles stuff. Um, but yeah, this is it. This is the new Aston Element in all its glory. Now I've just got to uh, take it for a ride and record some uh, record some demos and uh, see what it sounds like. In fact. This voiceover I'm doing right now isn't actually part of the uh, of the video. I've actually set it up, and all the audio you've been hearing me for the voiceover has been recorded on the Aston Element. Um, I think it sounds pretty good. I'm 
I'm about six inches, six to eight inches away from the microphone, and uh, yeah, it's quite a nice, it's quite a nice sound, I think. But anyway, yeah, I'll do a proper a proper mic review when I've had a little bit more time with it to compare and contrast it against my other microphones, uh, and yeah, and after I've recorded a few things with it. Um, anyway, like lockdown is treating you all well, uh, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.